After proposing a new parking policy near Bemidji State University, city officials got feedback from residents as well as commuters today. The possible proposal allows residents near Bemidji State University to purchase permits and would force commuters to park elsewhere. Lacey Montelion has more on what residents and students say about the possible change. Since the details of the proposed parking policy have become known, City Council member Kevin Waldhausen says he's beginning to hear from quite a few people. Just wanted to have an, an open meeting tonight to where people can discuss it. For some residents, the plan is a good start. I know it's not perfect. Uh, I think they're going to have to take and maybe take a look at it later on and see if there's a need to make modifications to it. But at this point, at least they're doing something. For Yarnot, parking at his home has become a big problem. I can remember trying to get out of my alley because the yellow line's there, but students didn't follow that, and it came close to I nearly got hit. Residents on streets like Bixby Avenue will be affected by the change, but drive just a short distance away to streets like Dewey Avenue, and you'll find residents who want to get in on the proposed parking policy. Uniquely to the situation, I've, I've heard from some residents that are just outside the zone that we're looking at that would like to be included. Bemidji State University Student Senate officers agree that parking is an issue, but they say the new policy will only make the problem worse. To us, a, f a fee is a fee. There's reasons why students don't buy parking permits in the first place, and now that one is being forced upon them. We just don't want to see that happen at all. Cooper's fellow co-president Nick Nelson says that the proposal would only shift the problem to a new area. Students, instead of parking five blocks away, are going to park ten blocks away. But although both sides agree that parking is a problem, it seems it will be tough to make everyone involved happy. Lacey Montelion, Lakeland News. A proposed policy would still have to go before City Council for approval. Officials say they would like to make a decision before school starts in August. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.